The White Bird was based on the Levisor PL4 Reconnaissance biplane, but was extensively modified. The wings were lengthened, the fuselage was widened and reinforced, creating enough room for the pilots to sit side by side. The landing gear was designed to detach, saving weight, but forcing the plane to land on water. Meanwhile, three fuel tanks carrying a little over a thousand gallons of gas were all they had to get to New York. This is how Charles Nungesser and Francois Collie flew for more than 30 hours straight at a top speed of just 120 miles an hour. Today, we seal ourselves inside metal tubes and shut ourselves off from the sky. But this, this is the purest expression of flight I've ever experienced. Feeling properly awed, we wing our way back to the hangar, and I head into the city to continue my search. I head to Le Bourget Airport, just north of Paris. This is where the White Bird took flight, and where Charles Lindbergh landed two weeks later. Today, it's home to France's stunning Air and Space Museum. In ours, we have the spirit of St.